All right, in this video, what I'm doing is um, I'm teaching uh, a team member, uh, particularly an appointment setter, um, how to set up um, a blast campaign. Uh, if you have a lot of leads inside of your CRM, um, this is one way where you can actually like, reach out to somebody instead of having them like, hey, call all the leads, call all the leads. Um, I went over to uh, online uh, voice recorder.com and uh, I simply recorded a, a message. Um, this was basically, you know, recording, hey, I'm reaching out to you because I was going through my files and, um, you know, I wanted to go ahead and, and touch base with you and I want to give you something else and I'm going to have you and I'm like, oh, I, your phone didn't ring. So I'm going to go ahead and send you a text message with my link to my calendar. So, you know, of course, it's a ringless voicemail. So, you know, they obviously it didn't ring, but now I'm going to send them a, a link to my calendar mm. and it's going to be Carlos's. So I've already recorded it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here. I'm going to go to campaigns. I'm just going to make a new campaign. All right. So that's it. We're just going to make a new campaign. And this is going to be to uh, touch. I'm just going to call it uh, touch base with uh, older, pro older, older contacts. Okay. Older contacts. And then obviously <clears throat> the, uh, the campaign um, that'll be it for now. And you can sort stuff a little bit later. <clears throat> Um, campaign configurations, you know, how this works, if you only want to run for something, but I'm literally just going to fire it off in about like 10 minutes. And so instead of having like an assistant start calling everybody, I recorded a, a call in my voice. So uh, from, uh, because I am going to kick this stuff out, we'll just put uh, Aaron James and it'll be from me. There you go. Done like that. Boom. And then start. I'm just going to put now. That's fine. Um, this is one you have to be careful of if you guys, if they respond back, um, you get it to stop. So just keep in mind of this little stop on response. Um, I'm, I'm not going to actually use that on here. I'm just going to let it go out. But although we're not even doing much, it's really just going to be like a, uh, a two step reach out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop, drop a voicemail. So there it is right there. I drop my voicemail bang. And that's it. It's all I got to do. It's already up and running done. So there it is. I recorded the voicemail. Now I'm going to literally drop it out, be able to drop it out to everybody. But the other thing that I did say is that, Hey, um, I'm going to, I'm going to send you a link to your phone. So, Hey, contact first name, just left you a voicemail. <clears throat> Here is my calendar link i mentioned here is my here is that link now the only thing that like problem that i've found in this when thinking it through is that some people won't listen to the message and but they'll see the um they'll see the text message so this is you know for the people that's watching this on the replay this is something you have to split test Okay, so remember that they're not hearing the voicemail and then said, hey, just left you a voicemail. You know, one of the things that you can do if you really want to be super, super, you know, cool with it is you could go and be like, did you get it? And what you could do is go down and start playing with the real high level system. Like you can get real granular. And if they answer in anything like, yes, I did. Yes that would be a positive intent. And then you could also get a negative intent and you could trigger off other campaigns based upon that. Um, that is something that I use in most of my major campaigns is that um, I say, hey, did you get it? Because people don't just like send links like in text messages, they just don't do that. Um, they're like, hey, and they did you get it? And so, hey, kind of, you know, it's uh, Aaron from, uh, you know, Facebook. Um, I just left you uh, a voicemail. And so you could get real granular. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, I said, I would leave this link here for you. And so I'm putting in yours right there. So that's your booking calendar. Okay. So anyways, just keep that in mind that that's all going down. And so with that being said, you probably want to push this out a little ways after. So leave the voicemail, you know, people, you know, they see the voicemail, they lift up. I mean, you probably 10, maybe 10 minutes, um, you know, give them some time. So it really looks like, okay, great. Yep. You went and took time to actually like, 
you know, send the text message. And that's literally it. Like that's literally all that needs to really happen in here. We'll push that to publish. That's all we're going to do. Now, all you've got to do is figure out how to set it off. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, okay? I'm going to just do it in the bulk fashion. And what I'm going to do, let's go in here, is I'm just going to do it so that when I move it to contacting like this, it sets off. It'll actually trigger. So I'm going to make a trigger that will actually put these contacts into that campaign. Now, you don't have to do that. What you could do is you could get real granular. Since I have different products and stuff, you could go in and actually tag them. So you could set it so that if a tag happens, right? Um, the other little thing that I want to do is that if the lead responds, then I want to, um, I want to move them over. Okay, I want to move them over. And so I'm going to set up those two triggers. Um, one other thing that I did forget on this was um, I do want to also just go and quickly grab this. And just for shits and giggles anyways, um, I'm going to go fire them off an email. Because there's a lot of people in here that we don't actually have their correct phone number or it's in another country, stuff like that. So in here, um, hey, uh, touch in base. That's all. Hey, it's Aaron from Facebook. I left you a voicemail. Um, I said I would leave this link um, for you. I said I would send you this link in a text but in case you didn't get it, I'd figure I would send it here also. All right, so see what I'm doing? That's all, real simple. Uh, because it's email, um, I'm gonna actually go and drop a photo in here. Cause I, whoa, damn. <clears throat> just in case like they don't know if it's, you know, if it's me or not or whatever. So um, because I'm like responding to people who respond to me on Facebook, stuff like that, then I'm gonna go and just grab my, the image that I use on Facebook. All right, so there, just so that they, they know, cause that's similar to the one that I use on Facebook. So that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna kick that one out probably like, like 10 more minutes out. Okay, so that's, this is all set. This is all done, ready to go again, like I'm going to do, so I'm going to go set up a couple of triggers. So the first trigger is going to be, I'm just going to call this like touching, touching base so that it's, I know what like kind of campaign it does. This is basically your naming conventions, um, touching base. And this is going to be, you know, contact replied. So the contact replied, contact replies responded to the campaign. Okay. So if they reply to, uh, to campaign, which campaign, and so we just have to go find which campaign touch base with other contacts. What do we want to do? If they reply, I'm going to update them, move them over in the leads pipeline. Now I'm going to move them to lead responded. Seriously, like that simple stuff like that. You can do anything else. You could actually send a text message out. We could send stuff. Um, you know, I could shoot you a message. I can do stuff like that. You know, you want to go put in here, put in a, um, a text message, something like that. <clears throat> you'll see when they respond, it, it lights up your phone. It'll, it'll light it up and you'll see all the responses inside of your phone. Um, this would just be additional stuff that you'd want to do. Uh, anything important, you may want to go send out a text message to yourself, stuff like that. So this is touching base, um, contact replied. And so um, there it is. All right. So the other little thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to go set up a, a trigger. And this one is going to be um, this was that touching base. And this is going to be to start. And uh, all I'm going to do here now is whenever the pipeline stage is changed, which stage it's changed from, it's in this pipeline, the leads pipeline. 
and it's changed from pipeline stage uh, to contacting. Okay, so the pipeline stage change in pipeline, that pipeline, this pipeline uh, stage, which I did, and then in contacting. So once that happens, then I'm going to add to a campaign, which campaign? The touching base campaign with all the contacts, okay? So um, as always with anything that you ever do, you wanna go and verify everything just to be on the safe side. So uh, this should act as I anticipate it should. And so I'll head over here and I'll go try one. So whenever Ian, let me just go see if, yeah, I just wanna see his contact for a minute. I'm just curious. All right, local phone number, boom, boom, boom. Okay, perfect. So um, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go move them over, all right? So we'll give it a second, you know, we'll give it a second. Um, you know, one of the things that we should go verify first is did it go to that campaign? And so we do see there's a number one, but you should verify. And so we're clicking in here and we can actually go in and verify. And so uh, sure enough, we do see the guy, Ian, it is running, it is doing it, it is going to go. Okay. So you notice that it went through one of three because we have three things inside that campaign. We have the voicemail that needs to go out. Then it has to send a text message. Then it has to send an email. Okay. So at this point, um, this is running. The, the, the thing is successfully um, running. Um, I just want to go verify one more thing before I start hammering a lot of people. And that was touch base with all the clients. <clears throat> and so one of the things that I wanted to do is, and again, you guys should be doing this too, even before you send out your first campaign is go and, uh, you know, test this stuff. All right. I'm going to pause this video while I test it and then we'll come right back. All right, so I got the text message and then it went right to the calendar. And one of the things that, you know, you wanna verify is just, you know, we do have enough spots open. Um, this I see sometimes with some people like, so yeah, this is really good. We have a lot of spots that are open. Is that, you know, you should check your own stuff because you may not realize that like, if you've booked out your own schedule, like you want people to be able to book out. Cause remember how we put like a limit on your, um, your booking calendar. So yeah. always verify that. All right, so we're going to go take a look now and 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 make sure that everything has uh, worked according to plan. Um, and so what I'm literally testing too is just making sure that you know I did get a booking, and so Carlos did get a booking. Um, it is in there. You know I can definitely go and check underneath my appointments, and you know sure enough there is my my booking right there. So there it is. That is correct. It's booked on Carlos's calendar. There it is. Good to go. Everything is looking pretty damn good. Um, actually, the one other thing that you want to check on this is make sure that um, they have also been added to your, um, boy, <laughs> your appointment reminder campaign. So right now I'm noticing that this is not in an appointment reminder campaign. And so these are the little things that will come up every now and then, um, and you'll have to uh, check on, um, but we want to go and figure out you know, why you're not getting added or why I'm not getting added to an appointment reminder campaign. And it's, it's real simple. So we make sure that we have our campaign, right? So there's our campaign and we have, Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, we have our main appointment reminder campaign. Okay. So this is like a main appointment reminder campaign. And um, on this main appointment reminder campaign, we want to make sure that um, we are added to this as people are getting added to that. So appointment reminder, this call goes out, you know, we have it set for 24 hours, eight hours, four, one hour, and then 30 minutes, uh, a text and an email. These are just emails for people. And then uh, a text, email, text message, stuff like that. So where that's happening is under triggers. And so under triggers, this is notify Carlos of booked appointments. We already have this. That's why when I booked that appointment, you said, oh, I got a message. Um, what it is, is it doesn't matter how you do it, but um, the point is, is that you want to verify that it's being added to an appointment reminder campaign on anybody who's booking. So this happens to be booking on your calendar. So if somebody books on your calendar, 
which is right here. And, you know, customer book deployment, we're on your calendar, send a text message. You just got sent a text message. There it is. We want to make sure that we're adding and we want to come over here to uh, add to a campaign, which campaign, and we want that, that main uh, appointment reminder campaign. And I forgot the name of it. Pause this for a minute. Let me go find it. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I'm so like, there it is right in front of me. Main appointment reminders. Okay. So pretty, pretty damn obvious. All right. Main appointment reminders. Boom. Save. Good to go. So now anybody that books, you're going to get a notification and you're also going to get main appointment reminders. It's going to go in there so that it went through there. So um, that's it. So now all we have to do, we know that everything's running. If we just go back to our opportunities and we start seeing so i'm not sure if this this guy is probably the same opportunity i'm assuming that this is the same guy so 8063 um i don't need to hammer him twice i think yeah so he's the the same opportunity um i'm just going to go ahead and delete this i've got it set up so it's creating multiple opportunities um you can also set up your crm so that it doesn't do that um you know, we've got Keith, there's, this is probably the same guy again, because he keeps opting in, which is, nope, it's a different guy, but that number, we're not going to be able to like, um, call him. So that one's going to not be a good one. But all you got to do to get this all to start running is literally, it's just start going like that, and it will start running. And so you can see literally Paul, don't want to put him in twice, Chris Powell, Mike, and this is all you got to do, and it, and it just runs. Mickey, Keith, Keith CRM, Rachel got the CRM, Ariel, Marissa, Richar, Milan, Don. Again, this is just one strategy or one method. I'm not saying that this is the way you have to do it, but um, I found, you know, kind of going through this stuff. Uh, this guy already booked. Um, just so you know, I just happen to know that. And so anyways, uh, I won't bore everybody on this video, but that's how this is all going to work and all that stuff is going to go out. Um, of course, we can head over to the campaigns and we can go see that. And so, so you can see literally we have 23 people going through it right now. And we'll be able to see the stats as people go through it and all that different stuff. So, all right. Hopefully that helps out.